What I love about Panto is the fact that it's a good build up for Christmas for those that have children. Um, we do it every year, myself and my own children have always been to Panto. I've been coming to the Panto specifically in this theatre since I was a kid. So it's familiar, it's fun and there's nothing like a pavilion theatre Panto. The funniest thing that ever happened to me in Panto, I mean, well, there was a couple of years ago myself and Grado were playing the Ugly Sisters. So we had to have a certain costume on during a costume change the fire alarm went off so we all had to go outside and I had like the fake boobs and stuff on so I was standing out in Renfield Street for about half an hour that was quite funny. Last year um, I ran on stage and I slipped in a puddle of water that Gredo had spilled in the scene before I fell over bruised my bum quite funny for the audience but a bit embarrassing for me. Oh pantomime it's just magical it's everybody's first experience it's fairy tale, it's big, it's colourful, there's music. It's what we need in the winter time to get us through to spring. Oh, I just love pantomime. I love doing it and it's the pleasure people get in their face. Working with beautiful people, ah, it's heaven. <laughs> I love it. The thing I love about panto is that it involves everybody. All the family are involved in Panto, from the small kids, from the babies in arms, right up to the mums and dads, the aunties, the uncles, the grannies, the grandpas, and everybody. It's a whole family tradition thing. People should come and see Treasure Island this year. I think it has a fantastic cast. Booers, have a good time. The Pavilion Panto is a Panto like no other. We have so much fun making the show, and hopefully you'll have fun watching it. So. Treasure Island, don't miss it. It'll be brilliant, it's going to be funny, it's going to be warm and it's going to be what you need this Christmas. Great costumes, great scenery, great music and just a great time for all the family.